Community forest in Uganda is a designation. Until today, we don't have any officially or formally gazetted community forest. It's informal, but people hold them in that perspective. As I've already mentioned, it takes a process to register a community forest and have the minister officially gazette it and declare it as a community forest. We have a couple of them named like Ongo Community Forest, Alimogoza Community Forest, but they are not formally recognized. How are people using them? People come together after realizing a need and an upcoming scarcity of a resource. They say, all right, let's come together and take charge of this. So they start as an informal arrangement. They seek audience from the district uh, forest office to support them. So they start organizing themselves as a community-based organization. They start the procedures doing a management plan. And in that, they clearly streamline what they are going to do. How to use what? For example, they regulate num days of collecting firewood. Water is open access. You can go anytime. Hubs are water open access. Poles, they regulate. So they have put up committees that we have a management committee, usually about nine persons, who are supposed to regulate how we use this particular resource. They also partner with NGOs in particular districts to do some enrichment planting. They do boundary tree planting for some of the cases that really have in Masindi and Hoima districts. This is very evident. But as the main demotivating factor is when they don't feel they own. Because when you know you're doing everything, you're planting, you're protecting, they do patrols actually, but then you actually don't have the full right of this particular resource. Not until when you have that document, a land title and a certificate gazetting it as a community forest that they can go with all their energy and efforts to see this community forest operating.